Hi Capricorn, it's your honest home girl, Keisha Anique, and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Take what resonates, what doesn't resonate, leave for another healing homie. With that said, if you are new to my channel, what's up? If you are returning healing homie, what's up gang? How are you? Um, how I do my readings, I do your intuitive message first, and then I get into your honest talk and tarot session. So with that said, let's just jump into your intuitive message. So Capricorn... Some of you guys, y'all could be dealing with a heartbreak right now or trying to get over a heartbreak or you just broke up with somebody. Um, your anniversary could be coming up that, well, used to be anniversary uh, that you used to have with someone uh, could be coming up because the song that started playing as soon as I started recording your reading was Heartbreak Anniversary by Gavon, if I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, so you guys could be, you know... Uh, you know, like you there, but you there, you not there type of energy. Um, you're just trying to get over that energy, possibly by working a lot. Um, the thing is, you if you guys are accustomed to speaking to your ancestors and you've stopped doing so, uh, your ancestors want you to start talking to them again. They have something to tell you and they want you to also bring an offering, whether that offering is a glass of water and a white candle, um, some fruit, pour some libations for them, a little bit of their favorite little alcohol, um, a cigar. Some people smoke cigars, okay? When they talk to their ancestors and spirit guides, whatever you used to do, you need to do it, okay? And just make sure you come with an offering, all right? Because you've been ignoring them and they've been trying to tell you some things. And it's probably because they really want you to understand that these losses that you're taking are blessings in disguise. Um, it's time for you to let go of things that no longer work for you. It's time for you to let go of things that are weighing you down, giving you confusion and chaos stress arguing okay a lot of people i'm hearing that a lot of y'all are a lot of y'all are addicted to the chaos like and it's y'all think it's healthy it's not healthy okay it's not healthy at all you are accustomed to it because you're accustomed to a lifestyle where people around you family members friends uh your parents you know there could have been a lot of arguing and fighting amongst them all the time. And you think that that's normal and that's not normal. That's what's familiar to you. Just because it's familiar to you doesn't mean that that's what you were supposed to go through and experience and how relationships, healthy relationships are supposed to be because it's not. Not to say that you don't go through issues in relationships. You're going to have disagreements. You can agree to disagree, but it's how you communicate with each other. It's how you solve of the problem okay um it has to be a energy of it's us against the problem not us versus each other type of energy but others of you you could be really just focused on being um the head of the household okay some of you could have aries in your chart taurus in your chart the ba your baby father i don't want to say baby father the father of your children or the mother of your children could have aries or taurus in their chart um this could be you just being very passionate about having all your ducks in a row, uh, having your shit together or getting your shit together. You're very passionate about building legacy, building structure, um, having a solid, firm foundation that could never be broken or shaken. And I feel like that's more so within yourself than within a relationship with anybody. I'm hearing except for your kids. So you want something like that with your kids. You want a solid, firm foundation with your children. You may want to break generational curses so that your children don't have to go through what you went through. Um, some of you could be really easily irritated at this time. Some of you may be, I forgot what sign I told this to, but um, you guys may be reluctant to being single and celibate, but I feel like that can help with your irritations when it comes to your relationships with the opposite sex or the same sex with whoever you date. Um, a lot of you guys could be in your own energy at this time, which is work, okay? Get into the money. Um, not really 
entertaining too much of anything at this time. And then for others of you, because you're easily irritated, because you have a lot on your plate, you could be uh, smoking more, drinking more, eating more, having more sex, d indulging in things more than you need to. Um, 511 on the phone when I said that. So look at that spiritual number. For others of you, you could be, um, if you're a female Capricorn, you are sitting pretty just like the male Capricorns here. Uh, I feel like the male Capricorns, you guys are working really hard. The female Capricorns, you're doing, okay, so the male Capricorns, you're in your divine masculine energy. You're getting, getting her done, okay? Um, the female Capricorns, you guys are sitting pretty. You are manifesting okay you are allowing things to come to you you've already built some type of solid foundation for yourself or you've built some type of income for yourself where you can sit pretty some of you may work from home some of you may have invested your money in things where you don't have to work as hard as most people you may also have taurus in your natal chart or aries in your natal chart some of you are very fertile at this time be very careful of that okay a lot of you guys uh, rabbits could be um, a spiritual animal of yours or you may have a rabbit as a pet um, for others of you you may be living somewhere where things are blossoming and blooming already um, my Capricorn females or even my divine masculine um, Capricorns because you both have come from some type of darkness that was within you at one point in time Okay, I feel like you guys have grown out of that darkness already and you're finally keeping your feet ten toes down on what you say, what you do, and how you do it. Okay, Spirit also wants to remind you that even though you've been working hard, even though you've been doing everything that you can to keep your ducks in a row, what have you done for yourself lately? Make sure you are enjoying the money that you work so hard for as well. They're not telling you to go out and spend a bunch of money, but you can still go out and enjoy yourself, even if it's to the movies, even if it's, you know, something little, taking yourself out to dinner, whatever it is, treat yourself to something that will help you, okay? Or or put a smile on your face, it doesn't have, it could literally be a massage. It could literally go get a manicure and a pedicure. It doesn't have to be anything huge, okay? Um, cause I'm, I just heard somebody say, because I'm trying to keep my stacks on stacks on stacks. <laughs> um, also, be patient with yourselves as well, because everything happens in divine time. And when it's supposed to happen, you'll receive the money that you've been wanting. When you are ready for it, you will receive that partner. I, I want to say divine partner, but I heard partner in crime. Um, you will receive that person when you are ready to receive that person, when you are open and emotionally available to receive that person. If it's a job, a career, whatever it is, you have to be mentally, spiritually emotionally somewhat ready for these things to in order to receive them okay but you have to clear out the old in order to receive this newness that you've been asking for a lot of you guys have been getting your hair cuts getting your nails done getting your hair done buying new clothes uh getting like your attire together okay you could be switching up your wardrobe or you could be dealing with a fiery energy um especially if you're dating females aries leo sagittarius energy or this person is just very good looking this person knows what they want they get what they want how they want it when they want it uh they don't wait for others to do it for them they're a go-getter just like you they will go and work for it um with that said if that has resonated with you so far capricorn don't forget to like subscribe and share and we will jump into your honest talk and tarot session You may have an ex still calling your phone and you just be looking at the phone like, why do you keep calling me? Like, you know what you did. You did wrong. Stop calling me. You really put your foot down with this person, even though it may have hurt. You may even support this person financially in some way, shape, or form. But let's get a card for self-awareness or they may do that with you somehow, some way. Okay, so we have this. 
and self-awareness. What about family and friends? This came fell in my lap sideways. Finances. Good gosh. Capricorn. Yelling all these cards. <laughs> and love relationships for Capricorn. Overall energy. We have male ancestor. Spirit guide energy here. This could be a deceased father energy coming up. A deceased grandfather's energy. Uncle. A prominent male figure in your life. A single mom who had to be mom and dad. A grandmother that had to be mom or dad. Just because it has the male figure here doesn't necessarily mean it's always male. It could just be someone that has the masculine energy or always carried mostly masculine energy within their lifetime here on earth. Um, let's get into these cards first. So when it comes to self-awareness, Capricorn... You're trying to keep yourselves grounded. You're becoming aware of the fact that you need to stay grounded in order to control your emotions, in order to stay disciplined, in order to um, really get, get things done, okay? Some of you, you may be a little emotional. You could be emotionally ma manipulative in some way, shape, or form with people. I don't know if you have to be that way to get what it is that you want or you purposely do this because you know you'll get what you want, okay? Um, a lot of you, this I'm here in work sector, so maybe you have to play your cards right a certain way. You have to not use your emotional intelligence at work. That has That goes out the window. It's more of a logical thing than an emotional thing with work. Um, some of you could be in the military or you could deal with someone that's in the military or in the government, some way, shape or form, or maybe you just have this, you're aware of this militant mindset that you need to have in some way, shape or form. But others of you, you, you're realizing how people look at you. They may look at you as an man, emotional manipulator. They may look at you as someone that's very direct, that you, your words hurt sometimes, or you're very cutthroat, it's very what it is and what it ain't type of energy with you. Um, you could be aware of the fact that you need to learn how to nurture yourself a little more and learn to be a little bit more softer with your approaches with yourself and with other people. Um, I feel that a lot of you, when you are, um, I'm hearing when you have your things together, you are very giving, you're very loving, you're lovable, you're teachable, right? But at the same time, you um, even when things are good and when things are bad, you still have this energy of telling what it is and what it ain't. And people better come to you with the truth and nothing but the truth because off with your head. Um, yet. You, it's like a switch. You know when to be loving, kind, and caring, and then you know when you need to be an arrogant asshole to people. Um, I'm hearing it all depends on you, so you could be telling somebody this, or you could be aware that that's who you are, you know? Um, for my male Capricorns, I do feel that you guys may not be emotionally available right now, okay? Um... I just heard emotions are nonsense. <laughs> I can see why somebody thinks you're an asshole, okay? Because emotions are not nonsense. I mean, you just have to have emotional intelligence and when to turn your emotions on and when to turn them off because we've grown into a society where people's feelings are more important than facts. And <laughs> Yo, somebody's literally agreeing with me right now where it's like, yeah, that's the fucking problem. <laughs> it's the facts, not your feelings. Get out. Um, somebody's telling somebody, get out of their feelings, okay? 
Um, I'm hearing that's the only way you could get shit done is when you're not in your feelings. Um, so you could be covering up your emotions at this time because you have to, because you got shit to do. Okay. Um, yeah, I just feel like, cause you're more concerned with your foundations right now that you really don't have time. Like, it's like you you may be emotionally available, but you just don't that's not where your energy is is right now. Like you is there, but let me get this done type of energy first. Let me let me let me check this off my list real quick. Let me okay. Now it's like you could share your emotions, you could share your feelings with people, but okay. I'm glad that I you know, I'm glad you, I know, but this is not this can't stop what's going on here though type of energy it's like you can have these emotional conversations but this is not going to stop what needs to get done or said okay um some of you are realizing how intuitive intuitive you may be as well and it may have scared the shit out of you to the point where you're like oh no 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 i ain't tapping into that i ain't doing that okay um Some of you could be a little bit more emotional than normal as well. And your emotions are literally all over the place and you're trying to regain your um, emotions, getting trying to get your emotions in check. Um, and that's by you being more vocal, telling, speaking your truth and allowing yourself to walk in your truth because you holding things in and bottled up inside is causing chaos and destruction and self-sabotage within you. So to keep yourself grounded, you have to speak your truth. You want people to speak their truth to you, whether it hurts or not, so that you can keep yourself emotionally in check. Now, when it comes to family and friends, right, you guys definitely are dealing with a young son under the age of 10. Now, for some of you guys, your son may not be acting like themselves right now. They could be acting out. The reason why they're acting out is due to healing within the DNA. Damn, spirit is here with all these bubbles in this glass. I don't think I've ever seen that many bubbles. And then my head just started itching. Okay. Um. Yeah, so back to um, your son misbehaving or acting out. They're acting out because of the energy within you, okay? So whether you're a mom, whether you're a dad, you have to be very aware of your own energies because if you're all if your energies are all over the place and you can't control them and your emotions are up and down and you're easily irritated, guess what? That energy is transferring to your child. People don't realize how much energy exchanges occur. Especially when you sleep with people, sleep next to people, when you engage with people. So if you have five people that you engage with on a daily basis, y'all are exchanging a lot of energy with each other. This is why it's so important when they say happy wife, happy life. It means a lot because the woman in the household, if she's not happy, guess what? She brings this destruction and chaos in the house to everybody freaking body but when she's happy guess what the house is clean there's music playing there's good food on the stove there, your drink is the, your favorite drink is there the kids are well kept okay same thing if you're the only if you're a dad and you're the only person in the household you have to make sure you're happy because if you're not happy, the kids are not going to be happy. And I'm also being told to tell you if you are on a healing journey where you're healing and recovering, guess what? Your child is going through those same emotions. I tell parents all the time and couples all the time. Listen, when you go through breakups, those kids go through those same breakups with you. Don't disregard their feelings and their emotions because at the end of the day, they had attachments to somebody just as much as you did. So yes, if there is a, some type of energy where there's discord, dysfunction, chaos, 
These kids have the same exact right to be upset and mad and ir easily irritated just as much as you. So don't sit there and disregard their feelings. And this is exactly why they're acting up because the energy around them is that way. Children mimic exactly what you do, how you do it. They, if, When you think these kids don't pay attention to you, I promise you, they pay attention to every little thing. They on you like white on rice. And I've learned that from being a child care provider for over 15 years. And that's exactly why I changed my ways when I was around children, because I realized that they pay attention to everything. When I say everything, everything, everything. And you think you they sleeping in the crib and you over there humping and thumping in the bed next to them. You don't think they don't know where that come from. Then you want to know why they over there humping into it. Why they playing with it. Because they don't watch you hump on their mama or daddy. And then they go to daycare trying to do it to them kids. Trust me, if your kid go to daycare, the teacher know everything about what's going on in your household and with the people that you surround yourself with. They tell everything, especially if they talking. But others of you, you may your child may not be acting up. Okay, you you may just be really uh, focused on your child at this time. Okay, you're not focused on any other family members, any other friends. You're focused on your child at this time, and that's it. Okay, now when it comes to your finances, things may felt like they were going backwards. Um, it may not have been going backwards. You may just had to spend money in the home. Okay, you may have had to pay a few bills. Um, you may have forgotten about something that you needed to pay for in the house okay this could also be pertaining with a leo as well um uh for some of you you may i just heard it's cheaper to keep it okay some of you could be thinking about a, a past like family dynamic when it came to finances. But then you have the coverage card where your mind is thinking about the past and what you may have had. But spirits like you need to look forward and have courage in moving forward, not going backwards okay because some of you you're looking at a foundation that you built in the past that had to happen to get your feet wet in something okay sometimes god yahweh allah whoever you believe in god's real name is yahweh and jesus's real name is yeshua if you wanted to know that but um What I was going to say was, okay, they're telling me to use myself as an example. I always wanted to be a business owner, right? I always wanted to have my own daycare. I received that, right? And I had it for five years. Okay, some of you may have had a business for four years or you worked for a company or had really solid found like security four years ago or for four years or whatever, right? And I would have never thought that I would be doing what I'm doing now, okay? Um, this, you know, the daycare situation led me to doing this. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, whatever business you may have had was to just get your feet wet into showing you the ins and outs of running a business, the, the things that you will have to encounter the people you would have to connect with how to market how to do customer service how to save money how to budget like those things were only there to put you in the place of obtaining information okay but there's something that spirit wants you to have courage to move forward with so it may be a brand new business okay it may be a brand new way of making money Sometimes things lead to other things, like example, with entertainers, they may start out as a singer or a rapper, then they turn into an actress or an actor, then they sit there and turn into something else, but it, something leads to something, 
And you can't be afraid. You can't be stuck on what you used to have. You have to have the coverage of the courage of figuring out new ways and inventive ways to produce the same stability and security, but with something different. It may take up to Leo season for you to really figure out what it is that um, you can do with when it comes to your gifts, your talents, uh, and to build some type of stability and security. Because it's, I think it's not so much particularly the what you were doing, it's the money that was coming in for you. It was the the bread, <laughs> okay? But spirits, like, you have to have the same faith and courage in doing something else, okay? Now, when it comes to love, okay, some of you are single, okay? Some of you are single because you are changing. Uh, things are changing within your love, your love life. The love that you have for yourself is changing, um, hopefully it's for the better and not for the worse. Because for some of you, I feel like it could be for the worse because you're going through a bad breakup, a bad separation. And then for others of you, this is because of the fact that you were dealing with a bad situation. It was time for change. So the change is happening now within you. You're dealing with your demons. You're dealing with the insecurities. You're dealing with the, the loss of a person. You're dealing with... Um, learning to love yourself all over again and trusting yourself all over again. For some of you, you could be dealing with another Capricorn like yourself as well, and that will change things for you because you guys could be very like-minded. Um, for others of you, this is, if you felt bound to somebody, you are no longer going to feel that way, okay? You are not bound to anybody unless you think you are bound to somebody. You're, you don't, own nobody and nobody owns you. You have every choice and every right to do what it is that you please to do because God gave us free will. You do not have to stay stuck and stagnant anywhere, okay? Um, somebody's ancestors is making me say that very adamantly. You are not bound to anybody, okay? You don't have to be unless you want to be and you're choosing to be if you stay. But I feel like if you are indulging in a relationship that is codependent that is full of chaos and darkness and it's not what's supposed to what god wants for you there's about to be a shake up in that relationship quick fast because if you don't change it because for some of you i feel like you're staying with somebody that you're not supposed to be with and it could be because of codependency issues, abandonment issues, but spirit is about to do some shit because you choose, you refuse to walk away from this relationship and you've had too many signs. Your ancestors and spirit guys have been showing you who this person really is and you won't leave. Spirit's about to make something happen for it to end because you didn't choose to... Um, leave that situation alone some of you may have to learn a lesson and trust me the them lessons when spirit gotta sit there and do the change oh you ain't gonna like it it's kind of like when your mother told you a hard head make a soft behind and your ass ain't listen and guess what you got your ass whooped spirit about to whoop your ass because you ain't gonna listen let's get some homegirl advice for capricorn a week from now Prominent time is a week from now. This may resonate a week from now for you. That that spiritual ass whooping may happen a week from now. The love is there. You can love people. You don't have to be in love with people to love people. And you can love people from a distance. Okay? You don't have to... Just because you separate from people doesn't mean you have to hate them. Okay? You got to just see them for who they are. And 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 that's it. And, and love them for who they are. But if they are not adding value to your life hey i gotta love you from a distance i wish you well though okay for others of you um if you're dating someone that's like-minded and has brought a lot of change in your life that love is there okay and let it flow to you you want things to flow to you you don't want to have to um what's the word overly extend yourself or feel like you have to be a people pleaser Allow things to flow naturally, okay? Three months from now is a prominent time as well for you, Kathy's. 
Is there anything else? Also, a week from now to a year from now. Okay, it may take a week up until a year from now for you to find this love that's going to just flow to you. It's just going to be there. Because the thing is, what you're holding on to is not meant to be. It's something else. You guys have to, you know... And if you are trying to stay in something because of finances, just because it's a better idea because of finances, because y'all men, y'all love to do that. Y'all will sit there and keep yourselves in a bad situation because of finances. And you little do you know, you're missing out on blessings and things would have worked out for you the way you wanted them to if you would have fucking not been scared to walk away from some shit that God's been clearly showing you is not going to work. Women, y'all do it too. Y'all be staying with these men for financial reasons. And they be sitting there, be beating your ass. They're narcissistic. They they be belittling you and gaslighting you. And and instead of you walking away, and yeah, you may have to go through a, a short period or a temporary period of, you know, trying to figure things out and getting back on the right track. But eventually, you get what it is that you want. You don't get what you want without sacrifice. You want a degree, you got to sacrifice going to school for two years, four years, six years, eight years to get that master's degree. That's a sacrifice that you have to make. You want that job, that's the sacrifice you putting in them applications and going on that job interview selling yourself. You want a business, you got to sacrifice saving money and putting in the hard work and the elbow grease to have it. Everything comes with sacrifice. So if you want love that just flows naturally, you have to sacrifice stuff. It may take a week from now to a year from now for you to even realize that. That some shit wasn't even meant to be. It was supposed to come naturally and flow to you. Let's get an affirmation card. And let's get an ancestor card for you. Well, dad, Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, and see, I'm telling you, all them bubbles in that thing, spirit is around. And this is why I got a handful of these cards for you. Your affirmation is connection. I'm connected to the multitudes and I can access their support at any time. This looks like ancestors to me trying to speak to you. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. I really feel like these are your ancestors and spirit guys really trying to connect with you and talk to you and bring things to you. And it's like you act, you want to act like the da dun da dun sometimes. Okay? And you being on in low frequency, they're not going to be able to connect with you. You got to ground yourself, okay? You got to get yourself together. We have mom and pop spot. Proud, family-owned, independent business, self-sufficient, creator, innovator. You guys are supposed to be owning your own businesses. You're, you guys are supposed to be bosses, okay? Then we have voodoo priest, leader of the Haitian revolution, victory, triumph, spiritual warfare, major change, wise peacemaker. Some of you guys are healers, okay? Some of you guys are voodoo priests. Some of you guys are here to help people heal from spiritual warfare or fight off spiritual warfare, uh, to make changes within your family bloodline and DNA, to also be a peacemaker and to bring change into the world. We have ancestors speaking. I sense unwanted energy. Cleanse your home with herbs and light up a candle. You guys, some of you definitely, you probably feel bound to somebody because they asked them probably put some some roots on your ass, okay? And you need to cleanse your space. Some of you, you need to sit there and really close all your windows. Whoa, well, your window should be closed. Do a nice cleansing of the home. I'm talking declutter. Throw out all them old toys, old, old clothes and the stuff that you haven't worn in the past three years. Go give it to a shelter, okay? Um, or like a group home for boys or girls or whatever the case may be. Um, wipe your windows down with vinegar. Your mirrors down with vinegar. Um, you need to wash your floors. Boil some water, okay? 
Splash some Florida water. You don't know what Florida water is? This is Florida water. Put some of that in your water, okay? Pray over that water. Mop your floors going towards the doors, okay? Sweep going towards the doors. You want to rinse all that stuff out, okay? Do the same thing with the floor wash. When you're done doing the floors in the house, you pour that shit out on the steps and sweep off the steps too. Clean in front of your house. Then you want to sit there and... um. You can take, I like to use the eucalyptus uh, oil with lemon and put that like if you want to cleanse like wood and stuff like that, you can put that on a paper towel with some olive oil and clean your wood with that. But as you're cleansing, you are praying your intent is to cleanse your home of unwanted energy. Then you want to smudge out every room, smoke out every room with either Palo Santo. Well, honestly, I would say sage um sage and then you want to open up a window one window in the house and let the whole entire house air out okay let all that smoke go out the house and as you see that smoke going out the house you visualize all the negative energy coming out the house okay um some of you guys you could also put some hyssop inside of your floor to, uh your your wash for your floors and stuff um then you can also um, you can also put a splash of vinegar in that water too, or ammonia. Um, if you guys really want a detailed way of doing that cleansing, email me, DM me on Instagram at the Honest Home Girl, and light a white candle, okay, and say a Psalms prayer ninety one or your favorite prayer, whether it's our Father prayer, whatever you're comfortable with, okay, cleanse your home. Then we have female ancestor wisdom developed over time, beauty and pride. A lot of you guys look just like one of your parents, your grandparents, okay? You um, get a lot of your wisdom from them, knowledge that you just randomly just know and don't understand where you got it from. This female ancestor is letting you know that she's around, okay? Then we have oral history, as above, so below, the past repeating itself, deeper understanding, lessons, receiving messages that are absolute. Yeah, see, some of you guys, your ancestors are definitely trying to connect to you. Your ancestors definitely want you to give them some offerings, okay? Especially if you have an altar, make sure you cleanse your altar. Um, put some fresh fruit. I'm seeing oranges and grapes here, a white candle, water. This also looks like some type of alcohol. Put some flowers there, okay? Pictures of them, all right? Make sure you have a prayer rug and some type of musical instrument so you can play music for them. There's a staff here as well, okay? That's an example of an altar. Then we have miss, the misunderstood, unable to defend self, innocent, young, suffering from cruelty, helplessness. Okay, some of you guys could have been accused of something that you wasn't, that you really didn't do, or you may know somebody that could be in jail and did uh, had to do time for something that they didn't do. Um, somebody could have did something to somebody young. That could be another reason why your child is acting up. Somebody could have did something to your child. Be careful who you keep your child around. When you sit there, if your child goes around somebody and they start crying and acting up and wanting to hold on to you, there's a re pay it. Look, don't you ignore? Listen, I'm gonna tell you as a child care provider, do not ignore your children's feelings and emotions when it comes to people. They are doing that. For a reason. Kids really can't sit there and say, hey, dad, hey, mom, this person did X, Y, and Z to me, and this is why I'm acting that way. Some of them are too young to do that. So you have to pay attention to their body language with people. I literally had a daycare kid that was screaming, crying when somebody that was not their parent came to pick them up. I had called their parent and said, I'm not giving them to them. I said, your child is acting up. I will keep them an hour late until you can come and pick them up or I can drop them off at home to whoever. But I'm not leaving them with, I'm not giving them to that person. And that baby held on to me that whole time. Listener, hearing messages beyond the realm, spirits speak to me, voices of the other people speak through me. I said this in your reading. Some of you guys have a gift and it kind of scared you that you can hear spirits talking to you. And then it says someone has trapped. Did I not sit there and tell you somebody could have put roots on you in your reading? 
It says someone has tried to cast work or send negative energy your way, feeling attached, sleepless nights, protection needed. Yeah, you need to cleanse yourself, cleanse your space because people could just literally be sending you the evil eye and hoping and wishing and praying that bad things happen to you. They don't even have to be doing it. They don't want me telling you this, Cappies, but yeah, they could literally be sitting there sending you negative energy, just thinking and wishing and praying that bad things happen to you. Um, especially if you walked away from somebody because you know that this is just not it and you know that you, you, you're you doing better without them. Like They could literally just be casting that by speaking bad on your name. So it's like you have to always remember to pray, remember to your intent every time you get in the shower, the tub, whatever. Cleanse yourself because you just never know what people are wishing upon you, especially if you're sitting here trying to get yourself together. And this is probably why your, your ancestors and spirit guides is like, it's time for you to move on from something because it's, it's doing more damage than good for you. Okay, but I love you Capricorns. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next time.